We all know LM317, LM338 is using for only volt reloading purpose. But today I am going to show you the easiest way to regulating volt and current with LM338 chip. Many people has confusion about ampere. Don't worry, this is a very easy fundamental formula. If I am set my power supply in 9V 10 amp and connect a LED with this, on that very moment it burns as you can see. It's happened because of the volt and current. So now, don't worry, the ohms law will give me the answer. If you want to know about amps, then you must divide voltage and resistance. For an example, if I take input voltage 30 voltage and resistance 10 ohms, and if I put ohms law, then I am getting output of 3 ampere current. In the same way, if my resistance is 20 ohms, then I will get 1.5 amp current. Similarly, if the resistance is 60 ohms, then I will get 0.500 milliamp current. I know you must be thinking about potentiometer to increase and decrease ampere. But wait, in this case the potentiometer will burn instantly. Your resistance is depending on your output load. Similarly, your resistors watt will increase when you increase the load of output. It has a simpler way. But today I will show you current and voltage controlling process with this LM338 chip. Let's find out. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. This is the largest manufacturer company in China. They provide very high quality PCB at very low price. Just upload your Gerber file to get 10 amazing PCB in $2. Even they also drop their price. You can get up to 30% off PCBs and 20% off stencil. Make sure to visit their website. To complete this project, you need copper dot board, inductor, 250k, 1.5k potentiometer, female jumper and screw terminal and heatsink and 12 volt cooling fan, LM338 and 7812 chip, 2 PNP silicon power transistor which is TIP42 and few resistors and LEDs. Before making the circuit, let's see how this diagram is working to making your understand it much better. We all know that LM338 is a volt regulating chip which can take a load up to 5 ampere. This circuit will work very simple. Where I am using a 5k potentiometer and a feedback resistor that is measuring the output volt to complete your circuit. Just think, if I can control this IC's input current, then I can also control the output current. For this purpose, I used PNP silicon power transistor. Here it is using a resistor to resist the output current. Which is trigger pin is the transistor's base pin, which will be controlled by a 50k potentiometer. Ok, let's get into the circuit now. I put everything electronics component on my breadboard. In this case from LM338 IC's power transistor can take more load because in this current is flowing very easily, so it could get hot. You can also connect to them in parallel for more powerful. And after 1 hours I complete my soldering process. Now it's time to check this circuit. I set my power supply in 15 volt and hook the alligator clip with this board. And I set my multimeter with DC voltage. And connect the meter's polarity clip with my board. If my calculation is right, then voltage will show on the meter as per I increase and decrease the volt. But if I do same with the amps, then also the voltage will remain the same. I was right, now let's give it some load. I connect 5 watt 0.30 ohms resistor on output and maximize the voltage. You can see there is no load on my power bench. When I increase the amp from the board, then my power bench is taking some load. That means this working well. And now it looks very nice to see it. I hope guys you will like this video. This video is very useful. So you can share this video with your friends. 
If you like this video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.